Hi guys, welcome to another problem solving episode of uh, Vedanta Education. Today I have got uh, a problem uh, from gate 2014 from set 1 and here is the problem. In spherical coordinates let a, uh, a cap theta and a cap phi denote unit vectors along theta and phi directions e equal to given expression and h equal to the given expression here. represent the electric and magnetic field components of the electromagnetic wave at large distance r from a dipole antenna in a free space the average power crossing the hemispherical shell located at r equal to 1 km and theta between 0 and pi by 2 is once uh, you look at the this question it says that uh, the electromagnetic wave is at a large distance so that means we can assume that this uh, electromagnetic wave is a uniform plane wave uh, that's the first thing so first thing is to identify the given wave is uniform plane wave at large distance so the second thing is to find the average power crossing the hemispherical shell so this means that uh, since it's a uniform plane wave and they are asking the average power flow uh, we we have to understand that this problem relates to relates to the pointing vector okay so once we know these two then uh, we can start solving the problem from this question given uh, the parameters a theta and phi and r we know that this problem is in spherical coordinates and in spherical coordinates what we have is uh Uh, axes which are three axes which are defined by three different uh, parameters first is the r which is the radial length and then you have the theta which is the elevation and also you have uh, phi which is the azimuth angle so given a point we can uh, a given point can be represented as r theta phi so this is the uh, basic of this uh, spherical coordinates and what we have to found a find is the average power so from the pointing vector uh, pointing vector theorem we can say that uh, the uh, average power time averaged power power flowing through because of this uh, electromagnetic wave uh, uniform electromagnetic wave is given as half real e cross h okay so let's uh, uh, find this value so the time averaged power let's call it uh, s which is in watts per meter square is uh, given as uh, half into real 100 by r sin theta cos omega t minus beta r a theta cap into 0.265 by r sin theta cos omega t minus beta r a phi now if we take this further it's uh, half and the real part of this uh, uh, of this value uh, comes out to be just the magnitude of these two uh, electric and magnetic vectors and uh, we know that uh, so let's just write that down 100 into 
0.265 divided by r square sin square theta and uh, we have this uh, a theta cap into a phi cap so this we know that a theta into a cross a a, a cap theta cross uh, a phi theta is just a r the unit vector a r so it's half 26.5 divided by r square sin square theta a r so the pointing vector is this one so we know that s is just the pointing vector is uh, given as 1 by 2 26.5 by r square sin square theta ar cap so this we know now uh, what the question says that uh, we have to find the average power crossing the hemispherical shell located at r equal to 1 kilometer and uh, theta varying from 0 to pi by 2. So, let me just draw a sch small schematic of uh, this uh, what they are asking. So, we have this uh, spherical coordinates here and you have a vector here which is r theta and phi and let us say this is phi and this is theta and this r is 1 kilometer and there is a hemispherical shell like this and the theta is varying from uh, 0 to theta is varying from 0 to pi by 2 and as you know the azimuth angle phi is uh, varying from 0 to 2 pi. So, in this case we have to find the average power the average power crossing which can be given uh, uh, by the integral uh, of the pointing vector at all the surfaces. So, the average power crossing can be given as p equal to 0 where theta is varying from 0 to pi by 2 and integral phi varying from 0 to 2 pi s dot d s where d s is a small area on this hemisphere which let us say it is uh, here d s and it is pointing outwards in the r direction and uh, so the value of this d s in the spherical coordinates can be also written like uh, like as I am showing here. So, the since this uh, distance is r the elevation is theta we can also write the length of this d s as r d theta and the width of this uh, of this uh, small area can be written as r sin theta d phi since it is making a making a phi d phi angle in the azimuth direction. So, so d s is a uh, magnitude can be given like this and it is a uh, direction. So, the vector d s can also be written as r d theta uh, r sin theta d phi and its direction is a r. So, let us just uh, plug that in. So, it is uh, 0 to pi by 2 0 to 2 pi uh, 26.5 by r square sin square theta a r dot r d theta r sin theta d phi a r. So, a r a r uh, dot product is just 1. So, the value of p is equal to 0 to pi by 2 and 0 to 2 pi. It is uh, 26.5. So, I forgot the 2 here. So, it is uh, there is a 2 there. So, divided by 2 r square we have uh, 2 r square here uh, 2 r's here. So, it is uh, r square again and there is a sin here. So, it is sin cube theta and it is uh, d theta d phi. So, r r is gone and we are left with uh, 0 to pi by 2 
sin cube theta d theta and 0 to 2 pi d phi and uh, there is a uh, uh, value here which is uh, one uh, 26.5 divided by 2. So, uh, the total power v is equal to uh, 26.5 divided by 2. Uh, the value of uh, this integral is uh, 2 pi and we have to find the value of this integral which will give us the total power. So, uh, this is quite uh, slightly tricky uh, if you know the value uh, value of uh, sin cube theta uh, integral of sin cube theta right away then you can just plug it in but uh, usually I do not remember such uh, formulas which are quite tedious. So, let us just uh, quickly solve what uh, the value of sin cube integral of sin cube theta is. So, here uh, we want uh, let us uh, just solve for this uh, whole uh, uh, thing. So, what we want to do is uh, integral of uh, 0 to pi by 2 sin cube theta d theta can also be written as 0 to pi by 2 sin theta sin square theta d theta. Now, let us just uh, uh, take uh, substitute the sin square theta as 1 minus cos square theta. So, it is uh, 0 to pi by 2 sin theta 1 minus cos square theta d theta. Now, let us do a substitution u is equal to cos theta d u is equal to minus sin theta d theta. So, this is a standard technique to solve such uh, integrals. So, what we have uh, got now is uh, uh, so in this case uh, d theta is given as minus d u by sin theta. So, once we do that uh, substitution what we are left with is um, 1 minus u square which is here and uh, du is uh, minus sin uh, so sin theta d theta is uh, substituted by du so this is and there is a negative sign here so, it comes to it amounts to minus 1 minus u square du and uh, this comes out to be u minus u plus u cube by 3. So, this is the integration value. So, let us me just uh, substitute it here. So, the p value the value power is equal to 26.5 pi uh, so it's uh, cos cube theta by 3 varying from 0 to pi by 2 minus cos theta uh, varying from 0 to pi by 2 so that comes out to 26.5 pi uh, it is uh, 0 minus 1 by 3 minus of 0, ma, uh, 0 minus 1. So, it comes out to be 26.5 pi into 2 by 3. So, if we solve that p is equal to uh, we will get a value of uh, 26.5 pi 2 by 3 which is uh, so once we solve this uh, the total value is 55.5 watts thanks for watching please look at uh, the description for uh, more such problems and i also recommend some books for preparation for electromagnetic theory